Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to another, I don't know, walk through, uh, plan with me. Um, I don't know. So I got some amazing feedback from my weekly walkthrough in that a lot of people have asked how to utilize Notion for planning purposes. One of the things that I have noticed is that we all like to show the really pretty tidy faces of our planning systems, which then means we're not seeing the process to get there. So what I wanted to do for this one then here on the 3rd of March, go real life, is my March monthly calendar setup. So you've seen my weekly or you can find it in the links. And this is how I set up my monthly plan. My system is pretty extensive and I'm going to talk a little bit about it as I go through, but a great deal of it is cribbed pretty much wholesale from Charlie Gilkey of Productive Flourishing. He has a paper planner called the Momentum Planner. And if you are a paper person, it is amazing. Um, and it's something that I use for a really long time. And in fact, still buy every year the PDF so that I have something to start jotting stuff down on in a physical sense. And then it all comes and lives in here. So with my month then, I'll start a new agenda. Um, this is the March monthly plan. And we're going to go ahead and use a four leaf clover because I need luck this month, but it is not St. Patrick's Day for me, mostly because I'm pagan and that's not a thing. Um, but I do have a huge giant speaking engagement at the end of the month. And so I would like to be thinking about that this month. Ooh, that's perfect. So dun, 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 March starts on the first ends on the third starts on the first. Ends on the 31st, you know, like a month of us. Quarterly plan. Cute. One. There we go. Which links to my quarterly planner. We will get to that in a few minutes. Weekly planners. We've I've already started this week's, but not very significantly, but I wanted to have it to show you here. Um, major goals for March. So digital marketing days, that's a conference. Um, what else? I am also, I don't know yet. Let's talk about it. Planning is one of those things that I think for most of us happens in kinds of phases and stages, especially if we have a lot to manage. So I have a lot of shit, mostly because I can't niche down, but mostly because I like doing things. So this is my podcast. Um, these are either the recordings we will release this month or the recordings we will create this month. So these are the ones that I will need to be thinking about. These are the ones that I will need to be creating content for. This is for this, my YouTube channel. These are the interviews that are either in the queue or are coming up if there's no dates. It's probably scheduled and I just haven't done it yet because there's no show notes. I'll talk about that in a minute. 
Um, these are all the open tasks. And here are those because I've mentioned before, um, I separate out tasks from content. A task is something that is currently in production for me now at this time. Content is stuff that has already been created and has to be managed by my team in some way. A lot of those things do come back to me in terms of posting on social media or what have you, but it's created once it's content and it's a task prior to that. For me, that distinction is really important, especially as I plan it. So over here, I have my big goals. And here's another place where I feel like, again, it's very sanitized when we talk about this stuff, but planning is a work in progress. When I touch these cards, I will tag them, deal with them, make them pretty, you know, do the things. Until then, here they are visually for me to look at as I'm going about my actual life and doing the things. So let's see. I had my dress fitting in February. Um, I need to possibly talk to a day of coordinator in March and find a venue but I am not quite sure on those things. So I'm going to add the vow renewal here, but I'm not actively engaging with it as priorities. It's there so that I'll think about it, but I'm probably not dealing with it. Um, Let's see, I'll add probably three goals. I like to keep it to around three, no more than five. So back to my dashboard here. Okay. And oh yeah, the thing I'm avoiding. Clearly I have some of them. Okay, so I have applied for TED three times now. This will be my fourth attempt. The previous times I was either not serious or not committed. And last year I networked a bunch and learned a bunch of things about the process. So this year I'm actually taking my application and the process seriously, but there's still a bunch of, you know, things around it, but that's what I'm working on. All right, here goes. So those are my big three goals, which will then lead me to my priorities. These pull up in various and assorted relations so that I can see them so that I know what I'm doing and prioritizing. Let's say I know I need to finish my presentation my slideshow for DMD. That's actually, I think, overdue at this point. Woohoo, it's mostly done. Um, I wrote my post for this, and now I need to promote the hell of it out of it. So there's a bunch of Marketing for funnel article. It's the Pareto principle in marketing. You spend a bunch of time writing it and then you spend a bunch of time promoting it theoretically. Alrighty. This is backwards. I need to finish slideshow. Yeah. I need to stop fucking around and 
submit. First, for anything, now, not later, this week, it must get done. I'll have to remind myself of it constantly. The joys of avoidance, right? We all do it. And this is why we build the systems. The more you, here's how I think of it. When we build in planning sessions like these, we are training ourselves to do the hard thinky things about the goal setting so that when I open my calendar and look at my to-do list on any given day over the next month, it's already been thought through for me, which means my resistance is significantly less. I will more or less do the things because I've planned the things because I know that I've done the hard work. Past me is being nice to future me, we'll say. Okay, so I've got the TED application. I've got the marketing for my funnel article. I've got my slideshow for the, okay. Um, here is where we get into quarterly goals because I have separated these out as well. Um, quarter. Here we go. My quarterly objectives. Digital marketing days is here. Clients I was wanting to generate are here. Live events are here. Guest posts are here. I've not written a single guest post in quarter one yet. So I'm kind of biffing this one. I have narrowed. It's This has been a matter of poor planning and avoidance of writing on my part, but I wrote a piece for publication. It's just not for guest publication, which is, I guess, progress. Yeah. Ten lashes with a wet noodle. So I'd like to get at least one done this month. The irony here is that at this point in time, my pitch list is long and I have a lot of people I can more or less send an article to and say, here, publish this for me. And well, not quite like that, but I can submit an article for publication and it will be so if I spend the time doing the writing. I just haven't spent the time doing the writing. Sue me. Okay, so guest publication. Uh, do, 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 live events. Okay, that's another thing that I wanted to do this quarter that I have been stymied by lack of transportation. That is getting solved this month. So um, what I need to do for that is coffee dates. I have a local contact who has a women's group uh, program hosting building thing. She has Metro Omaha Women's Development Center, I think. I'm close.
And she's been nagging me for some time to come and do Notion workshops and possibly other project management workshops as well. Live events are always something that you should prioritize if you are an entrepreneur. It's on my list. So I will schedule the coffee date and then I will chat with her and then I will schedule an actual event. That's how that works. Okay. So that's March. I have a couple of other things I'm going to need to look at. So these are the weekly plans here. Um, I've already created one. I just haven't dated it yet. So March 2nd through 8th should now show up there. Recurring tasks are here. I try to keep this list pretty short, but these are the things that I like to think about on a monthly basis or a weekly basis. But I look at them regularly. Things that I have not yet done are my monthly client letter and my invoices for, yes, I'm doing fabulously for March. Woohoo! Life happens. It is what it is. Okay. So that's goal list and monthly professional goals. As I built out the rest of this page, I will insert my calendars. So love it, hate it make fun of it, whatever you like. I am a big fan of astrology and I pay attention to such things as void of course for the moon as well as general astrological occurrences. So this is my favorite calendar. It's Cafe Astrology and then I just embed it um, I also like to pay attention to red and green days, which is probably way woo. But I chart both my sun sign and my ascendant in terms of general energy and maintenance levels. So red days are physical energy, green days are mental energy. I am a Cancer sun and a Virgo rising. Today, tomorrow, the day, the next one, a seven uh, physical energy, a one. So I'm not going to do much physical, but that's where it's going to help me. Maybe I'll take a walk. We'll see how the weather is. That's, that's about the best I can offer when physical energy comes up, but I do tend to take advantage of my high mental days. Um, okay. So that's done. This is the review that happens at the end of the month. And here we are. Most of my monthly plan. Now, how this translates then, we've seen what I've taken from my quarterly. Next, I will build out my weekly plan. This was last week for leap day. Yeah, I know. It's great. Um, but I will unfavorite it because this is no longer the week that I'm dealing with. And we'll move on to this calendar week. Now, I did not readily identify anything with huge upcoming deadlines except for invoices and client letters. So that's going to be 
right up here. Oh, but wait, it's not. Why is it not? Client letter right there. Um, <laughs> invoices must not be tagged as recurring. The setup is slightly different. So we'll go in here. We'll tag it. No, stage it. It's recurring. See, lots of categories can have lots of places where we get confused. But, and I could have, in fact, then tagged it as today instead of dragging it. It's all fun and games, right? But aside from these two tasks, I didn't identify anything that is desperately urgent. So what I need to look at then is just to make sure some of the through lines are there. Here is my presentation. Um, here is Ted. So mostly I've got here are um, recordings. That one's actually happened. So I can update these, but mostly I am on pace with where I want to be in terms of my monthly plan. So I will then go in and refine my weekly further down so that I have a clear understanding of what I'm doing on a daily basis. Today is Monday, I have client calls usually, so I may not always get to my weekly calendar until Monday, and that's fine. It, it works for me, and that is it. So, my month is ready to go. I will fine tune my week, plan out my days, and I'll be ready to go. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye.